Hey everybody, how's it going? New video on the heater. Uh, before I start the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment after the video. Anyway, on to the video. So it was recently my birthday and my wife got me a Princess Auto gift card and this is one of the things I bought with it. It's a Heat Star 6000, 12000 and 18000 BTU Pro portable propane cabinet heater. Model number MH18CH. Heats up to 450 square feet, operates up to 72 hours, 20 pound tank minimum, tip over safety shut off, uh, low oxygen safety shut off, three heat settings, quick assembly, indestructible durability. Uh, oh, we're going to test that. Uh, outdoor use, quiet operation. I want it for possibly use on the deck in fall evenings, maybe on the front porch. Mostly I want it for an emergency heater for the garage or the house, just really just for emergencies. So there it is. That's what she looks like. Princess Auto has them on sale. They're on Amazon for $250 Canadian. Princess Auto had them for $199. I was looking at them at that price and I almost pulled the trigger on it a week ago. And then the latest flyer, they were on sale for $149. So I grabbed it. Um, so I'm going to open it up. We'll throw a propane tank on it. First, we'll put it together and throw a propane tank on it and try it out. It does say outdoor use only. 90% of the people I see using them are using them inside. Um, you know, use a little common sense. They do have low oxygen sensors. Maybe you got a carbon monoxide detector or something to go along with it. Whatever. You know, it's up to you. I'm not telling you. How to live your life or how to end it whatever you want to do all right let's set this on the ground and open it up instructions let's tilt you down there more cardboard always more cardboard Fairly light. More cardboard in the box. Yeah, well, we'll worry about the box later. Probably don't even need the instructions. What can go wrong? With propane heater. What's the worst that could happen, right? It's the way I've made, gone through my whole life. It's by saying, what's the worst that can happen? And if it ain't that bad, I do it. You gotta take some risks in life. So let's spin it around. We've got a bunch of zip ties here. Where's my knife? More zip ties. be the, the tray for the tank and some wheels. I think that's really the only assembly I have to do. Uh, let's do this where you can see it. Cut off the zip tie here holding the wheels, the bag of wheels to the tray. Those come out. Those come out. Now, without looking at the instructions, I'm going to say this goes in. Those are the front wheels. Those screw down. Look, right. instructions might be called for. How about a quick glance? I don't want to let you guys down, but I got to have a quick glance here. these attached to is that third let's get that out of the way I need a light oh, goodness hmm I'm gonna guess those come up from I'm confused okay I'm gonna pause this for a second and read hold right, on folks sorry about that I got it figured out so uh, here's the, the heater laying down on its face 
This goes with the round side out and the depression facing down to the bottom. There's two little things that stick up that'll go into these slots. And there's two little things that stick up on this that will go into these slots. So you can't really screw this up. There you go. So you put that in and then you take these screws that you took out of this thing and they go into these holes from the top side. screwdriver. Great screwdrivers. Tight. Don't over tighten it. It's you're only screwing into sheet metal threads so don't don't go crazy. Don't go full ape on it. Okay that's snug. Then you take your wheels here. Uh, let's lower the camera a little bit. And there's two you can see them kind of brass colored on there. So the wheels thread right into there. They have a lock nut too that you can tighten up with a wrench. I will do that later. I mean assembly, you know, if you know what you're doing before, if you read the instruction manual before you start and have, you know, reasonable amount of mechanical ability. You should be able to have this thing together in 15 minutes. All right, that's what's rolling. Casters lock, the locking casters, which is nice. All right, so let's, let's lock the casters so it doesn't roll off the bench here. All right, now we've got the back here. And in the back, we've got our propane hose, with more zip ties. Careful not to nick the hose or cut it. Do not remove this label. Okay, well, now where I see a lot of people go wrong here is they'll just throw the propane tank in here and wonder why it won't fit because this thing's in the way. Uh, that comes out. Lift it out. Oh, my tabs are bent. This tab's bent anyway. Maybe they were supposed to be bent. All right. Pull that out. Now when you get the tank in, then these go in as such, and it holds the tank in. It's not rocket appliances, people. All right, so let's take a look in here while we, while I've got her. Here's my flashlight. So there's this valve in there. There's not much to it. Valve controlled by this, your pilot light, your uh, heat sensor or thermocouple, whatever they use in here. Some gas lines running down to the thingy my bob and that's it so let's stick a tank in there and fire this baby up i've heard that they sometimes kind of smell for the first while when you fire them up so probably don't do it in the house let's get that out of the way this is a fairly full tank Holy christ -a -roni. That was a whole bin full of miscellaneous little pieces of junk. Whatever. Let's put this on. Sorry. My shoulder in your way. Okay. Well, what's a good way to have this? I guess like that is the only way it's going to stay. And let's put this in there. Sorry to be in your way again. That side in. That side in. There we go. All right, let's turn it back out here. I'll stop the video and set it up where I can start it. All right, folks, here we are on top of the machine. There's your, your button. See that off? You push it down, turn it to pilot ignition. Hold it for 15 seconds till the thermocouple heats up, stays lit, the pile will stay lit, then you can turn to low, medium, or high, and then back to off. 
So let me set you guys down where you can see. Look at that, best seat in the house. All right. Pilot's lit. She's lit. Okay, let's turn it on low. That looks like the center panel lit. Let's see what that's like. Um, let's see. Let's try the temperature gun. We have a temperature of 200 right now on the center. Let's take the temperature up there. That's at the top of the machine I'm just taking. It says 30 degrees Celsius. It's already putting out a fair amount of heat here. I'm about a foot away there and I can feel it. It's only started. Let's see if they'll turn off the lights so we can see it better. It looks kind of groovy. Um, so it'll only get hotter as time goes by. So that's low. 300 degrees Celsius now on the face of that. Let's go to medium. Ooh, that's two burners. Uh, this is throwing off a lot of heat. Like a lot. Holy cow. If you had a fan on top blowing. Yeah, no, this thing throws a lot of heat. Two burners and I can feel the heat four feet away easily. And above it, if you have ceiling fans blowing the air down, this would be fantastic. Man, that's a lot of heat. It's too hot for the temperature gun. It just says air. Let's see how it looks with two burners lit. Pretty neat, eh? You know what comes after two burners? Three! Three burners! Ah, ah, ah! There we go. That's gonna be hot. I think if I put this thing outside on my deck, on my front porch, because my front porch is covered, so the heat rising from this is pretty hot. I think low would be plenty. Wow! I bet you this thing would heat up this whole garage in winter. On high, you could probably heat up the whole garage or just turn it on low and maintain the temperature above zero. That's one of the main reasons I got it was to prevent, like I've got paint, car paint and things in here that if frozen, it's no good. My heater died last winter at the end of winter and I ended up having to buy a 240 volt electric heater to prevent things from freezing, which was just insane on the power bill for a month and a half. Um, if this thing will work to keep it Good Lord, that's warm. Holy cow. See how that looks with the lights off. That looks pretty cool, eh? Cool. See, it's, it's probably similar to like the, the Mr. Heater Big Buddy heater. I think it's about the same, same BTUs. Um, the panels themselves, I think they're ceramic panels. They're probably about the same size. It's just nice that it's in a cabinet form with rollers and you can roll it around. The top is not hot at all. This face gets a little hot, but this isn't hot. You can grab those, these sides, the top, the back. I've heard people say they're worried about the tank. There's no heat coming through the back. I got my hands directly behind it on the tank inside. And it's not even slightly warm in there. Oh, whatever I did, I just shut it off. That must be the, when I rattled it, I'll bet you that's what shut it off. All right. So I guess the safety features work. It, shuts itself off if tipped or bumped into, which is good. Let's try that again. Let's, let's let her heat up and then we'll bump it and see if that shuts it off again. That's kind of handy. All right, let's just give it a 
off right away. That's pretty cool. I like that feature. Anyway, so that's it, folks. That's the heater. Man, that's hot. It's hard to tell you guys how warm this is. Um, camera's getting warm. Microphone is warm for sure. And this camera's about ooh, maybe four and a half, five feet away. Let's say five. Yeah, let's roll her back a bit. I'm surprised this hasn't shut it off. Look at how red that is. Wow, this thing puts out a lot of heat. Works great, lights easy, does what it should. Let's see if we can turn it off again. That's so cool. Pilot light lights really easy. It's a bit fidgety with the knob, getting it to turn. It has like, uh, you gotta kind of push it at the same time you're turning, but get it at the right height. Turn it off, push it down. So that shuts off which panel? This one. That should shut off the other side. And that should be all the way off. We'll turn off the gas. And that's that. Again, so the top, there's no nothing hot in here. I can put my hand in all behind the in front of the tank. There's no heat inside here at all. It doesn't retain any heat under there. So if that's a concern, let's get the uh, old meter out again. See what we're doing. It doesn't really have any propane fumes, like uh, burning fumes. I mean, it, you should be vented, obviously, but probably the worst you're gonna get is moisture. Uh, don't do, use it in a sealed off house in a small room or a tiny cabin or something. If you're going to use it inside, have ventilation. Again, I'm not telling you to use it inside. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Let's wait for this to calibrate. Weight-wise, I'd say it weighs about, I don't know, with the tank, 40 pounds. Accumulation of gas anywhere. There you go. That's it. So if you guys got any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will do the best to answer them to the best of my abilities. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay warm.